每天我们都要面对各种状况，天气的改变、可持续发展、全球变暖，但是我们中又有多少人真正能多做些事呢？这些设计师们肩负使命，使我们的世界变得有点不同。一个结构，一座建筑，一条路。I think nature, for instance, is full of very refined solutions to to problems. It actually brings out the unspoken aspect of the human aspiration. We should minimize any destruction to the existing environment. 有一句话说得好。欲辨世界，先辨其身。在这一集中，我们将介绍设计超人如何诠释这句话随着世界的迅速发展，天际线被越来越高的摩天大楼、越来越长的道路所占据，随之而来的是污染、垃圾和一系列增多的碳排量。来自沃哈的建筑师理查德·哈塞尔和黄文森在设计学院项目中发现，设计绿色建筑的简单方法就是回归本真。Naturally ventilated areas definitely、uh, a big benefit, rather than the kids being in a sealed up air conditioned environment, suffering all those aspects of you know, sick building syndrome where people are rebreathing the same air.、Uh, here they have it's got beautiful flow through of air, so it's very as fresh as the air can be in the centre of the city. We were really recycling as much of the building materials as possible to create an、uh, interesting feature in the, in the walls. 建筑师洛文义也相信，设计师能为可持续发展做更多贡献。森林漫步的路线也是经过仔细策划，尽量减少对自然的破坏。We plan the route in such a way that to avoid the mature trees on the side,、uh, the walkway sneaks around the forest. Such a way that、uh, it doesn't、uh, create an impact to the delicate forest. Architect Liu Taige also believes that protecting the Earth's mother is important. In the Henderson Boulevard Bridge project, he used environmental protection and conservation to make this belief a reality. The Earth's Planning field where you can actually do more for eco ecological、uh, environment. If you plan the city by first saving all the good ecological area, and second create a plan where you minimize the use of cars and maximize the, the opportunity for people to walk to get what they want. 人们很容易陷入这疯狂的城市，所以刘博士有了个大胆的想法：利用壮丽的江山，设计灵感让人们回到了简朴的生活。In nature, all the plains, all the surfaces, rather, is continuous, endless. And this、uh, design does not have a beginning at the end. We wanted to connect all the paths so that Singaporeans could either walk a long distance or cycle on the islands. Nature and nature fusion is the heart of l 但是对于沃哈，这是他们对艺术的热情，帮助他们构思艺术学院。
inspiration don't come from architecture itself, but it actually comes from almost everything. Art is one of those. I just look at architectural ideas I'm thinking about and use art as a way of interrogating the idea. In terms of some of our projects being uh, a little more uh, colourful or um, blending this rational with the irrational, I think some of that comes from the art practice. 这种艺术实践只会在某种环境里具体化，那会不断地保留着使用者所关注的核心内容。These eco-friendly spaces of trees, grass, a sense of space and imagination help not only the heart space but the mind space, and that's very important. I feel to tomorrow's、uh, young people for conceptual development. Emotion is always from the surrounding environment. 那也是洛文义在接到设计森林漫步任务后发现的。We're in, inspired by the natural beauty of the site. We see our structure that is also complement to the environment. At the same time, also came across a plant, which is the miles a minute.、Uh, this is a vigorous plant that it attaches the cell to the plants wherever it grows. And metaphorically thinking, we see our structure similar to this kind of plant that it attaches itself to its parts of the site. After we have、uh, come up with a good design, the next thing is to execute the、uh, the construction of a bridge until it delivers the design intention. We have to convert the design into drawings, which clients and contractors could understand. We have to find ways to fabricate them in a very precise way. And the third, we have to deliver those parts to the site. And these are every step of that required careful planning. 一丝不苟的方式也有助于最大限度减少森林的破坏。刘博士将敏感的生态设计细节加入到架线塔。We wanted this bridge to be the key feature, and therefore you notice that the pillars below it's just very simple, almost like a paper thin, like a slips of paper supporting it, also creating a sense of lightness. And the location of those pillars below us do not require removal of big trees. 设计简单的架线塔，很大程度提升了大自然的魅力，体现了亨德森波浪桥的优美线条。The whole purpose of doing that is to not to have any sharp angles, so that this harmonious shape, organic shape, fits into the environment. This is my first time here, and、uh, I think it's quite cool, quite windy, and、um, I like the surrounding around here. So I guess it's a pretty cool place to relax and to、uh, exercise and stuff. Liu 博士的设计寻求与自然合为一体。沃哈有时候发现自己的想法完全不同。Oh, we fight a lot, <laughs> and I always give in. <laughs> That is not true. Yeah, I think it's a myth that design is about subjective aesthetic judgments. Once we identify such issues, it's quite easy to 
find solutions and then measure against it to see how we fare with it. So it's not personal process, but it's more an objective process. 无论那些过程怎么样，艺术学院好像是经过精心思考的生态创意的积累。Here, these spaces are shaped such that it actually encourages and funnels the wind to move through these spaces, hence drawing air movement through the classrooms. On the outer side of the corridors are the green planter screens that you can actually see, and here, these creeper screens are also shading the classrooms. They are also filtering. Uh, sun from coming in and noise from coming into the classrooms. 然而，不只是生态特征表现突出，保护大自然也是列入计划中的。This tree is, I think, almost a hundred years old, and I think it's, it's here longer than any one of us. And so, when we started designing Sota, we really wanted to make sure that we preserve this tree. The tree further back too is also a very old tree. We have actually cantilevered the classroom blocks, which is about six stories above this tree. When Wuha put two trees into his design, the architect Luo Wenyi put the whole forest into the forest. He put the concept of the Earth Earth into the forest forest. 除了地球轨迹，几何式栅栏格子的桥梁设计也是被认为绿色环保的。The metal grating actually allows the lights and rain to the forest floor. Imagine you have a solid concrete floor. It cuts off all the necessary daylight and water to the vegetation below. And the grating actually is allow us to fabricate off-site and bring it to the site to assemble them, and thereby minimize the impact and activity on site. 当我们的设计超人开始为世界建造更好的住所，他们有时也会意识到，他们的使命并不是想象中那样简单。亨德森波浪桥桥高三十六米，它是新加坡最高的步行桥。能在这里建造这样的建筑，对于刘博士和他的团队来说并不易。We also look into ways, you know, how can we actually allow the central span, which is 57 meter long, to be constructed, okay, and minimize the impact. Of the moving vehicles, which challenges, then how do you hoist up to the next height of 36 meters? 要把大约一百吨的中心跨度承受力提升到三十六米的高处，团队不得不从晚上九点工作到凌晨五点，来减少对道路行车的影响。The bridge is not straight. It actually is moving in a certain angle of one to twenty as well. So with that, you need to meet the two points when you reach the top. So we have to check the sagging points. The precision is actually really very much the key uh, for the whole project. We uh, actually establish certain good systems, uh, even to check on every step, right from the construction of the pylon to how the members were to come in within a very tight constraint with the site conditions. Liu 博士和他的团队要把亨德森波浪桥提升到一定的高度。但是对于沃哈来说，地方虽小，也不是个简单的工程。So to yeah, it's quite unusual in that it's a it's a, a fully equipped、uh, a high school, 
with in the centre of the city. Plus, it has additionally all these performing and visual arts facilities. So it's actually a very um, interesting challenge in how to fit all these things, like places to playing fields and uh, assembly, into a dense urban site. Waha use some special ways to challenge this series of challenges. The bold move was to create a club sandwich uh, solution, where we have the upper levels as a safe uh, haven for the students, uh, where all the academic areas are, and on the lower level, a very public facility. Art school to become a modern education institution requires a sense of sensitivity. It must think about our daily lives. 建筑师洛文义决定，要对建设森林漫步的位置考虑周全。The hilly terrain for the elevator walkway is a difficult one. We have to bring in equipment in such a confined space. We have to work within four-meter working space. The elevator walkway is about two meters in width, with one meter on each side. So it is a very confined space we have to work in. This confined space means reducing the impact of local traffic. But that is not all. This 1.3 km long road is built in a secluded forest, with no big trees. We have to heavily rely on manual skill labor. We have people carrying. All the steel components into the forest. Normally, in a construction site, you see a lot of equipments and scaffolding. But in our condition, we only could have small equipments. Something would have taken one year to complete. It took us two years. It is important for us to do that because it helps us to minimize the disturbance to the forest. I like reading about the flora and fauna here. Uh, I also like getting up close and personal with like the trees. Forest walkway project. Luo 先生让人们更加接近大自然和它的神奇。他的另一个成功的项目，雅士格卓越培训中心，继续了他在设计中对环境的关注。Escort Center of Excellence was formerly the Chow Yang School. It was an old building left on a large vacant site. And we were commissioned to transform this old school into a well-equipped modern training center to reflect the client aspiration of a service excellent culture as well as a eco-consciousness of the organization. 在能源过度使用、高度现代化的环境中，生态友好的雅士格卓越培训中心，让人回忆起过去美好的时光。We make use of the existing slab and wall, and we add in the new roof to bring in、um, natural light through a series of lanterns. It brings natural lights into the interior space. The common spaces are naturally ventilated. It does not require air conditioning, and it becomes eco features in terms of energy usage. Similarly, the same in the former land on the ground, Wu Ha. Once again, they are going to bring the innovative and innovative design into their new initiatives in the Bali Island of Uluwatu Alila Jodian. It was a real opportunity to influence not just the building but the,、uh, the operator. And so we suggested they adopt、uh, green design as one of their core brand identifiers. And it was something they were thinking about at the same time, so it was very much a, everybody went, yeah, great, let's make this a, a green hotel brand. 一个项目如果包含奢华隐蔽、完全生态意识，那意味着什么呢？ 
because it's, it's in a developing country, high technology solutions are not that appropriate in that they're expensive and prone to break down. So we went for a very passive uh, solution with some new technologies that we felt were appropriate like heat exchanges for water heating, the recycling of water, recycled timber for all the, the woodwork rather than using rainforest timber. Many different small strategies that add up to a, a greener hotel. Wuha Zai a windswept place because there's no hill, nothing to stop the wind from the north. So that becomes an ideal place for kites. The forms are also quite organic, you know, just curved lines and very lively. Uh, we have an opportunity to, to say that while we're reflecting the colors of the kites and we found. 考虑到文化中心占地较多, 刘博士留意确保这综合大楼不会耗费不必要的电量。so what I try to do is to create from the roof openings so that the sun can go from the south through the roof into the buildings. It will save uh, electric bills. Whatever设计,都不可能瞬间拯救环境. 但是如果它能改变我们对待自己星球,自己家的看法, 这个地球当然会成为更好的地方。毕竟，这些设计师已经毫无疑问地在告诉我们，设计能改变世界。这个地球当然会成为更好的地方。毕竟，这些设计师已经毫无疑问地在告诉我们，设计能改变世界。